There is a region in deep space that defies explanation. It is not a black hole. It is not a nebula. It is a breach in the cosmic fabric so vast that the human mind struggles to comprehend its scale. If you were to travel at the speed of light fast enough to circle the Earth seven times in a single second, it would take you over 300 million years to cross this abyss. For decades, astronomers have stared into this darkness, puzzled by its existence. In a universe defined by light, matter, and gravity, this is an anomaly, a place where statistically nothing should exist. But it does. It is called the Botes Void. And it is not just an empty patch of sky. It is a window into the darkest secrets of our universe's past, and perhaps a warning about its future. To understand why this void is so terrifying, we first have to look at the architecture of the cosmos. When we look up at the night sky, we see a blanket of stars. It feels crowded. It feels busy. But that is an illusion. The universe is not evenly packed with matter. It is not a smooth sea of galaxies. If you were to zoom out far past our solar system, past the Milky Way, and past our local cluster, you would see that the universe looks like a sponge. It is a massive three-dimensional web. In this cosmic web, galaxies are not scattered randomly. They cling together in long, thin threads called filaments. These filaments are the highways of the universe, blazing with the light of billions of stars. But between these highways, there are gaps, massive spherical caverns of absolute emptiness. These are the cosmic voids. They make up nearly 80% of the volume of the entire universe. Even our own galaxy, the Milky Way, sits inside a relatively small pocket known as the local hole. But the local hole is nothing compared to the monster hiding in the Bodas constellation. Located 700 million light years away, the Bodas void is often referred to by a more ominous name, the Great nothing. It is a sphere of emptiness roughly 330 million light years in diameter. To put that into perspective, the distance from Earth to the edge of our observable solar system is only about three light years. The Milky Way galaxy is about 100,000 light years across. You could fit thousands of Milky Ways inside the Bodas void side by side, and they would still be swimming in empty space. But the size isn't the most disturbing part. It's the silence. Based on the density of the rest of the universe, a region of space this size should should be teeming with life and light. It should contain at least 2,000 massive galaxies. But when astronomers look into the great nothing, they don't find 2,000 galaxies. They find 60, 60 galaxies in a space that should hold thousands. This statistical impossibility leads to a haunting realization. If the Milky Way had been located in the center of the Bota's void, human history would have been radically different. For thousands, of years, as our ancestors looked up, they would have seen nothing but blackness. There would be no Andromeda, no triangulation of stars to guide ships, no concept of a universe beyond our own backyard. It wasn't until the 1960s that telescope technology became powerful enough to detect galaxies that faint and that far away. If we lived in the void, we would have believed until very recently that our galaxy was the only object in the entire universe. We would have thought we were completely alone. So how does as a whole this big actually form? To find the answer, we have to go back to the beginning, the very beginning. 13.8 billion years ago, after the Big Bang, the universe was a hot, dense soup of particles. As it expanded, it didn't do so perfectly evenly. There were tiny, microscopic jitters in the density of the universe, random irregularities known as quantum fluctuations. Think of it like a game of cosmic tug-of-war. Areas that had slightly more matter had slightly stronger gravity. This gravity Gravity pulled in more matter from the surrounding areas. As the dense regions got denser, they became the seeds of galaxies. But as they pulled matter toward them, they stripped the regions in between, leaving them emptier and emptier. Over billions of years, this process accelerated. The galaxy clusters grew massive and bright forming the filaments of the cosmic web. The spaces between them were drained of gas, dust, and dark matter, expanding into giant bubbles. Smaller bubbles merged together to form larger ones. The Bodas void is likely the result of this process on a massive scale, a super void formed by the merging of several smaller voids, like soap bubbles popping into one giant pocket of air. But simply knowing how it formed doesn't explain why it is so useful to us today. Paradoxically, this region of emptiness is one of the most important laboratories we have for understanding the stuff we can't see. Our universe is made of three things. Normal matter, the stuff you, me, the Earth, 
and the stars are made of only accounts for about 5% of everything. 27% is dark matter, the invisible scaffolding that holds galaxies together, and the remaining 68%, that is dark energy. Dark energy is the mysterious force that is pushing the universe apart. It is causing the cosmos to expand faster and faster every second, and there is no better place to study dark energy than in the Bota's void. Because the void is so empty, there is very little gravity. To counteract the expansion. It is a pure environment, uncorrupted by the gravitational noise of massive galaxy clusters. By studying how the few galaxies inside the void move and how the void itself presses against the surrounding filaments, scientists hope to calculate the precise strength of dark energy. However, there is something else flying through the void, something that ignores the emptiness entirely. Neutrinos. Neutrinos are often called ghost particles. They are some of the most abundant particles in the universe, second only to photons of light. They are produced by nuclear reactions in the sun, by supernovae, and by nuclear power plants on Earth. Right now, trillions of neutrinos are passing through your body. You don't feel them. They pass through the Earth as easily as light passes through glass. Because they rarely interact with normal matter, they are incredibly difficult to study. But in the vacuum of the Bode's void, physicists believe they can observe the behavior of neutrinos on a cosmic scale. Understanding the mass of a neutrino, something we still haven't pinned it down, could rewrite the laws of physics. This brings us to the modern era and the tool that might finally unlock the secrets of the great nothing. We are no longer relying on the blurry ground-based telescopes of the 1980s that Robert Kirshner used to discover the void. We have entered the age of Euclid, named after the ancient Greek mathematician who defined the laws of geometry. The the Euclid spacecraft is a European space agency mission designed to map the geometry of the dark universe. Launched in July 2023 aboard a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket, Euclid is currently stationed at the Lagrange Point 2, a stable gravitational pocket a million miles from Earth. This isn't just another telescope taking pretty pictures. Euclid is a time machine and a cartographer rolled into one. Its mission is to create the largest, most accurate 3D map of the universe ever attempted. It will observe billions of galaxies out to a distance of 10 billion light years, covering more than a third of the sky. Euclid sees the universe in two distinct ways. It has a visible light camera to measure the shapes of galaxies with crystal clarity, four times sharper than ground-based telescopes. And it has a near-infrared spectrometer and photometer. This second instrument measures the redshift of galaxies, telling us exactly how far away they are and how fast they are moving. Why is this crucial for the Bota's void? By mapping the distribution of galaxies and voids over the last 10 billion years, Euclid will show us the history of cosmic expansion. It will show us how the voids have grown. If dark energy is a constant force, the voids should grow at a predictable rate. But if dark energy changes over time, if it gets stronger or weaker, Euclid will see it in the shape of the nothingness. The data pouring in from this mission is staggering. In October 2024, the first piece of this massive cosmic mosaic was released to the public. It revealed a universe of terrifying depth and complexity. As Euclid continues its six-year mission, it will turn its gaze toward the great voids. It helps us answer the ultimate question. What is the fate of our universe? If the voids continue to grow, driven by dark energy, they will eventually consume the filaments. The galaxies will be pushed so far apart that the night sky will go dark for everyone, everywhere. The Bhutas void is a preview of a possible future, a cold, dark, and lonely cosmos where where every galaxy is an island in an endless sea of nothing. It is humbling to think that by studying the empty spaces, the places where nothing exists, we find the answers to everything. The Bodhis Void reminds us that we are small, that our island of light is fragile, and that there is still so much out there in the dark waiting to be discovered. We are just beginning to scratch the surface of the dark universe. If you want to keep exploring the mysteries of the cosmos, from the event horizons of black holes to the edges of the observable universe, make sure you are subscribed and have your notifications turned on. There is a lot more to discover and we are going to find it together. Thanks for watching.